Yeah, the greatest, uh, I think Manchester United's greatest representative around the world and has been for 50, 60 years when you think he was one of the original Budsby Babes who was part of that tragic Munich air crash and survived it and lost a lot of his teammates and colleagues in that but came through. Obviously won youth cups at Manchester United in the early days under Sir Matt Busby, then obviously went on to win the European Cup, the World Cup and obviously in the more modern era, a director at the club who used to come into the change room after every single match, win, lose or draw. And something when I was a player at the club, you maybe would take for granted that this, Jamie's just described him as an icon, a legend, would be walking around your changing room saying well done or offering his commiserations and trying to pick you up if you'd obviously lost a game. And it's obviously a great loss today, but there's no doubt that he is English football's greatest player and English football's greatest ambassador, more importantly, a champion on the pitch and off the pitch. And as you say, so inextricably linked with Manchester United from their darkest days of the Munich air disaster when he was only 20 and, and rescued by his teammate Harry Gregg through to the, the European Cup winning side. He captained that side. He scored a couple of goals in the, in the final. How much do you or were you told of him as a, as a player in terms of what he, he added to that great side? I think it was the one great connection when I joined Manchester United, Sir Alex Ferguson brought Nobby Styles, Brian Kidd in. Obviously, Sir Bobby was a director at the club, but those other European Cup winners were brought into the club to remind us of the club's history. And the likes of Duncan Edwards and all those lads that sort of, if you like, died in that air crash, and obviously Sir Bobby surviving, you know, it was in, it sort of instilled in you every single day how important it was when you think of the Manchester United Blazers that the players wear currently and we wore through the 90s and 2000s. They were the Blazers that the Busby Babes wore and Sir Bobby Charlton wore and those traditions and standards and everything that's good about Manchester United, I think you couldn't have anybody better than Sir Bobby Charlton to represent that. How important do you think it is that, that clubs have that link to their, their history, that have that link to their, their past and retain those memories? I think that it, 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 it's been done well and it's been done badly, Kelly, but I think what Sir Bobby Charlton is is an example of how you can have a great ambassador of the club, someone who is a legend of the club, who does it very well in the boardroom. He always re represented Manchester United in the right way. You know, I did a few appearances as Manchester United ambassador whilst um, I was at the club and after I left the club, and he was the greatest ambassador, like you say. The way in which he spoke about the club was incredible. Um, he was to say the, the golden thread through from Sir Matt Busby to Sir Alex Ferguson, two golden eras in obviously Manchester United's history, and he was the constant through both of them. 